tweets, you tweeted, Donald Trump is a white supremacist who has largely surrounded himself with other white supremacists. Yep. And that was, well, that, it was right that's, after Charlottesville. Right after Charlottesville. Right. Yeah, so that's why I said I was re reacting yeah. and responding <laughs> in that moment. So we've all yeah. tweeted things in the moment, myself included, I've tweeted things in the heat of the moment when I've been emotional. It's something I've had to learn the hard way not to do as I've grown in my career. Do you still stand by what you said? And do you think that President Trump's supporters are white supremacists? Uh, I still stand by what I said. I don't think that his supporters are white supremacists. What I would say, though, is that they have the privilege, the benefit of privilege to be able to distance and disassociate themselves from certain issues. Me as a woman of color, I feel vulnerable to certain behaviors, certain policies, certain things that he said and done. And so all of that was part of that response of feeling that vulnerability. If it doesn't impact you directly or if you don't feel that, it's probably harder for you to understand it. And so I, I just ask those who do support him to understand that that perspective is coming from that place. It's not about calling you out necessarily. Necessarily, it's about the fact that in this time and in this moment, it feels like people of color are under attack. What would you say to like uh, And I'm, I'm genuinely curious to have this conversation because I remember when it happened being sort of taken aback. Like, what would you say to a Ben Carson who's working in the administration who's obviously not white? Would you consider him a white supremacist? No, I mean, I, I wouldn't. As I said, I don't consider his supporters or everyone. You also just said you stand by what you tweeted, which is that he's surrounded by white supremacists. Yeah, but I wasn't house. talking about Ben Carson. I think I, we know the names that I but was he talking works about. In the administration. He does. I didn't say he was surrounded by all, yeah. everybody he was surrounded with, by was with a white other supremacist. other white supremacists. Other, yes. I'm, obviously, Steve Bannon. I can go down the list of people who have, who have at very least played footsie with white supremacists.